The message that I desire to share is for you to go into self-discovery. And what does self-discovery mean? Like, who are you really? I mean, what are you really about? Think about that. So what are you about? Well, you're male or female, and you have a physical body. What else do you have? What are you about? Are you about prosperity? Are you about greed, control, manipulation? Are you about seeking recognition? Are you about feeling depressed? Are you about control? I mean, what, what are you all about and why are you here? Everybody asks me what their special purpose is. But I don't want to address that right now. I want you to take a look at yourself through introspection, through deep meditation to discover who you are. So you're going to discover that you're more than just a physical body. You're going to discover you have a soul and that you have a soul and that you have a mission in this human form and you have a goal to achieve in this human form, whatever that may be. Maybe you're a teacher or a nurse or a professor or maybe you're a mother or a father or whatever it may be. But self-discovery says, who am I really am? And you're going to discover lots of things. I want to be a little bit ambiguous because I want you to discover it and not put the thought in your mind. But I will put this thought in your mind. And the thought I will put into your mind is when you're meditating and you ask who I truly am, what am I truly am, what am I about, just remember that you're an aspect of the true source. And just with that thought of that you're an aspect of the true source, either during your meditation, shortly after, or maybe the next day, your mind is going to be filled with all kinds of information. So I want you to understand that you're just more than a human being and that you're just more than a spiritual being having a human experience because you all have something important to accomplish in your life. And you need to understand that. And the number one thing you need to accomplish in your life is you, your self-worth, self-love, self-esteem doesn't mean a hill of beans what you've done in the past or what you're going to do in the future. What are you right now, this very second, this very moment? What are you? And that kind of begs the question, well, what am I? And by your meditation, you're going to realize you are more than you ever thought you were. And, you know, you're going to learn that the only limitations you have are self-imposed limitations. Like I'm no good at math or I never can have a good relationship or whatever it may be because you created that. You created that to learn and grow. That's what you did. And once you master it, then you move on. And how do you master it? Take a look at it. You ask, what are my impediments? What are my blocks? What are my fears? What are my doubts? Why am I running away? Why am I frustrated about it? And how come things aren't happening fast enough? And I want it now, 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 now. You don't want to wait. And once you begin to do that introspection, once you begin to meditate and ask who you are, what am I? You're going to find a plethora of information that is going to raise your vibrations and realize that you are very special. Because you know how I always tell you, you're created out of love, by love, and from love. And if you truly believe, which I do, that the true source is unconditionally loving, allowing, and non-judgmental, period, and whatever we experience, whatever we create in our life that we judge as positive or negative is only our opinion of it. It's our judgment. You know what? I look at it as I'm learning something new. It's a challenge. Well, this didn't work, so I guess, okay, I had egg in my face. Why did I create the egg in my face? Oh. I learned the lesson to do something different. Isn't that great? So I'm growing and learning. I'm growing and learning. And you're growing and learning. And look what's going on in the world right now. There's so much anger, so much adversity, so many opinions, so much hate, so much bullying. Not only in the United States, all over the place. All these people have these crazy agendas. Like, oh my goodness gracious. The only agenda each one of us should be or have is being unconditional, loving, allowing, and non-judgmental. To learn to love ourselves. That's it. That's all we need to do. Because everything that is needed in your life to make your life 
joyous and happy. It's already there. It's that fact. It's at the tip of your nose. That's how close it is. But as a human being, no, it's got to be my way or the highway. It can only be done this way. And that's why I bring up that, that story about a loaf of bread. You don't care where the loaf of bread comes from as long as you get the loaf of bread. You don't care how many stops I make. And that's what it should be with you, to know that everything in life is right there at the tip of your nose. Just get out of your own way and say, I'm open for the love and joy and happiness in my life, love and joy and prosperity in my life. That's all you need to say. The challenge with most people, everybody has a difference you know, of opinion, of meaning, prosperity and joy. To some people, it's having a nice car, a nice house, being able to travel a little bit. To some people, they have to have trillions of dollars. Whatever it is. But the simplest things in life are what gives us joy. Just like I talked about in forest bathing, being out in the forest and enjoying it. Or seeing a little baby laugh. Or watching a puppy play with a little ball or its toy. Or perhaps seeing someone you care about getting married or the miracle of birth there's so many joys in our life or looking at a plant and watching it flower or looking at the sun setting or rising or feel the rain caressing your body or smelling a sweet rose all those things are important all those things bring you joy and harmony and balance Therefore, I'm going to say in this coming week, meditate, ask who I truly am. What am I? And you will be amazed at your answers. 